Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's video is going to be a quick first impressions flip through video of my Simply Yours day planner. Today also kickstarts my seven days of planning series. Now, I didn't do Vlogtober this year or anything like that, but I do wanna come and share for seven days different elements of planning and how it can help you in your life in terms of making sure that you balance, grow, and succeed. All right, so let's get started. Now this video isn't a full unboxing video. I did some unboxing for Instagram, so make sure that you follow me over there. My Instagram handle is down in the description box. It is also Coach D underscore the career mom. So this planner is from Planned and Proper. I love all things planning. It helps me to stay organized as a busy mom with a fast paced career in corporate. Plus I have a business, a blog, and a social media platform and all of that other fun stuff. So this really helps me to stay organized. So these are some extra goodies that came in with the planner. I am on the creative team for Plan and Proper, so I will leave a link in the description box that will help you to save some money if you decide to purchase this planner. So this is the beautiful, beautiful planner. I'll turn it sideways so you can get an idea for how it looks. I love the gold coil. It is flexible but sturdy, right? So it's not so stiff that you can't, you know, function with the planner and make sure that the pages turn. So this is the front cover. I'm so, so excited who the planner belongs to. Now, I did a review of this planner for the 2020 version of it. It's a little bit different for the 2021 planner. It has all the information about the planner. It talks about the worksheets that you can use throughout the planner, which I think is great. Stay mindful, reflect gratitude, and always be planned and proper. So I really love this brand. It is so elegant. It's, it's, it almost has a luxurious feel to it. I do have another planner that's on my wish list, but it is a true luxury planner and I'll share more about that later um, when I get it but anyway I really love this planner I'm gonna use it as my life planner so as I mentioned before I have the Christy Wright planner I did a flip through kind of first impressions of that as well but that planner is gonna be used for business I know I saw some questions down in the comments of that video asking how I intend to use it. So when I go through this seven days of planning challenge or this seven days of planning videos, make sure that you subscribe so that you can see how I plan to use all of my planners, no pun intended, <laughs> and how you can plan whether you have a planner or not. So it gives you all the holidays on this page or, you know, more so the standard U.S. holidays for 2021. I use this section sometimes just to highlight birthdays, um, trips, and things like that. This is a um, important contacts page. Now, traditionally with cell phones, you know, kind of phone books and, you know, paper ways of tracking numbers is kind of, you know, not really a thing these days. But because this will be my kind of lifestyle planner, and then I can have it as a reference point for my husband. I will keep some important contacts in here, like my my um, kids' teachers and, um, you know, kind of common people that we may need to reach out to or connect with um, should one, you know, per something happen with one person's phone or whatnot. So 2021, big plans and projects. So I love this section. You can have, you know, kind of a space to write down your major plans for each month, which this comes in handy specifically if you have birthdays or if you have, you know, major events that are coming up, you can kind of have everything at a high level so you know what's coming in the months. Vacation planning. Now, whew, I can get a little salty about this section because we don't really have any more vacations planned. We canceled everything, but prayerfully we'll be able to do some mini staycations, daycations and things like that. So I'll use this for that. Um, passwords and things like that. I think this will this can come in handy um, for some passwords as long as this planner doesn't really leave your home or you know you keep it in a safe place. Bills. I won't be having a dedicated um, budget planner this year. I'll do it more old school with the notebook. 
until I decide otherwise throughout the year. But this will come in handy for kind of managing the bills. You can have notes. I think this will be nice, especially for us as we're looking at kind of our wealth building strategies. And then organize your goals and your dreams. This is money. So I like how it has a brainstorming section for you to um, kind of write down your ideas. It has a brainstorming continue where it gives you boxes, right? So you can kind of group your things. So when you brainstorm, and I'm not going to go too in detail with it because I am going to share another video about kind of brainstorming and planning. But when you come up with your ideas, you can kind of group the common themes over in your boxes. Then we have the next section gives you kind of some tips for writing your goals and your dreams long term short term it gives you prompts and some things to consider which is great and then it gives you a worksheet which i love how this is laid out it gives you timelines actions to take goals short term long term and then it breaks it into categories which is what the pages are for And then it has a section for your favorite quotes, your actions to take, write down at least five action steps you can take to move you towards the direction of your goals, which is awesome. And then it goes into the month, the monthly view already has some um, dates in there for January, MLK Day, New Year's, Inauguration Day, since it is election um, year. Then it, I opted for this design for my planner, and I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I love how it has your to-do list, and then it has kind of your open box to kind of capture what you need to do for the day. Uh, this also does lend itself, if you like planner stickers, you can decorate your spreads. Now, this is a little bit different. I know a lot of stickers are customized either for the Happy Planner or for Erin Condren. So sometimes the stickers may be a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger, depending on the sticker brand that you use, but you can always work with it. Like it may overlap a little bit, but to me, that's totally fine. The same thing with like the uh, pre-cut washi tapes on the sticker sheets. Oftentimes this is a little bit shorter than those types of um, washi so you may have to tuck it or cut it which is in my opinion fine or you can just use washi tape and um, decorate the bottom of the spread so that's what we have for the month february is the same i didn't customize it uh in terms of making the planner or getting it printed that has like birth dates and things like that. My birthday is in February. Last year's planner, I had the option of customize it this year. Uh, you do not. So um, just make sure you keep that in mind. But the holidays are already uh, printed for you. Alrighty, and then the year rolls on. Sorry guys, I'm at an angle trying to record at the same time. But in the back, you have a journal section, which I love the extra note pages that you can just capture some notes. I may do budget planning in the back, um, depending if I have 12. Yeah, it looks like I should have about 12 pages. So I'll probably do my budget planning back here every month at the highest of the highest level because we are officially credit card debt free, y'all. Woohoo! Leave me a comment down below and let me know if my budget planning videos have been helpful for, for you because my goodness, we are credit card debt free. So obviously that method has something to it, guys. Don't sleep on it. All right, so this is my first impressions video and a quick flip through of the Simply Yours Day Planner by Planned and Proper. I love this planner. I think it'll be a great addition to your collection. Head down to the description bar below. I have a code that you can save some money on this planner. It is so elegant. It is beautiful. It is hard wearing. I shared in another video about my current planner. This year's planner, how my son is, you know, he, he loves to get into things and spill water on my planner. And it held up really, really nicely. So I don't advise you testing it out. But just to let you know, this is a good quality planner. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you hit subscribe. You don't want to miss any of my videos. I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye, guys.